Hey guys, so I'm going to do a pH test on the Dillon Living Water Bottle. Uh, so I have a few cups here for a few different demonstrations. The water that's in here currently, uh, I put in here roughly about 20 minutes ago. And I've been drinking out of it, and so I'm going to show you what the water pH is um, after roughly 20 minutes. I want to keep the video short, so uh, that's the reason why I'm uh, doing the water after 20 minutes right now. So I'm going to put two drops of the pH test drops. So you can see after 20 minutes, the water is at about 9.5 pH. That's that purple color. You can see that there. Now I'm taking, uh, so I'm in Mexico right now. So uh, this is the hotel water, um, mineral, mineral, natural purified water. So the pH of the bottled water right here is And by the way, this is the same water um, that I put into my bottle earlier. So you can see the pH of this water is probably in between 4.5 and 6, so I'd say about 5.5. It's a little bit of a yellowish green, so it's definitely a very acidic water, which uh, nobody should be drinking. So I'm going to... Uh, empty out the rest of this bottle and fill it with this. I'm not going to fill it all the way just uh, for the sake of time, but I filled up about half of the bottle. Now I'm going to wait a few minutes. Uh, there's really no need to shake uh, the bottle when the water's inside. You can just leave it. Leave it. Now I'm going to do the first test. That was just about, I mean, barely a minute. So after about a minute or two, it's gone up from about 5.5 to, I'd say, above a 7. So it is now alkaline after just about, you know, roughly two minutes, not even. So that's a huge increase from acidic water to alkaline water. And now I'm gonna wait just a couple more minutes and see the, uh, the further increase. So this is just after a couple extra minutes. So you can see it's a little bit of a nicer green, almost a bluish green. So I'd say it's close to an eight, maybe not quite an eight, but uh, close to it. So you can see the increase just after an extra minute or two. Um, so I'd say this has been about, you know, a little bit less than, than five minutes now. I'm going to leave it a couple extra minutes. 
so you guys can see the further increase. I'm gonna grab another glass. Now the water is has also um, is also now antioxidant. The ORP has decreased to a ne negative level. I'm going to show that in another video update coming soon. Uh, I don't have an ORP meter with me right now, but the ORP actually shifts um, to a negative level quicker than the water increases in alkalinity. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys the further increase. So now we get a purple. So that is now uh, above eight. As you can see there, it's a nice solid, uh, I'd say blue, bluish purple. So we're, we're now above an eight. So as you can see, the water alkalizes fairly quickly, um, starting from the acidic water that we see here, um, which is, you know, very, very acidic, which we should be staying away from, all the way to, you know, a nice um, eight plus pH alkaline water. And the further you leave it in there, it will uh, go up to roughly 9.5 and it will stabilize. So you don't want to go it, you don't want it going much higher than the 9.5.